Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Super Cool Radio interview. I'm your host, Matthew Thomas. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have some great guests joining me at this time who I'm super excited to chat with as they're the first guests from Denmark to appear on the podcast. Please welcome Cryosphere. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I know we have quite a bit to discuss, obviously, with the brand new single, The Odyssey, that was recently released. So I, I kind of want to like dive into that because I very much enjoyed it. I, I've been listening to it in preparation for this interview, and I very much uh, enjoyed the, the song. Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah, We're cool. very proud of it. So it's always nice to hear. Well, for sure. So, like, um, for anyone who like hasn't listened to the Odyssey yet, like, what's the best way to like describe them? What they can expect musically and lyrically? Oh well, um, musically, I don't know. It's kind of a mixture between uh, different genres, but it has like um, a core and metal core, if you could say that. Um, and then we have two vocalists, like me and a male one on us so that kind of uh, gives some kind of balance or juxtaposition or something like it's it's we have these two opposites meeting um so that it gives a, a special feeling um to the music and lyrically on us do you have anything yeah. to say yeah li lyrically you can expect some some stuff about relationships in in a different way. That's the what the song is about. So it's it it can be different kinds of relationships. It can be work. It can be love. It can be whatever. But it's the uh, it's the differences and the compromises you have to to make to get things going and make things work. That's what the song is about. Well, I think it was very well done. I I did pick up on some of those, you know, the the lyrical, uh, you know, themes and stuff like that. I also did like the um the style because I think um obviously I listened to some previous material as well, but I think this one's just to me it's got like just a different, a little bit of a different feel and like style to it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. We we also wanted to do something different because the song was also a little bit different from what we used to to do. So we 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 tried out this animation style and tried to to tell the story with with the odyssey in 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 that theme as well the greek theme with with, uh, with the two characters of antaeus and and uh, the mermaid or the cyrene acliope right so uh, so yeah that was yeah. pretty cool we we did some research on them and it, it was just it fit, it fit well to who cyrene and i am as a person um but still also like but still also it's it's a bit like it's a bit what can you say it's a bit um it's a bit extreme you can say that it's some of our extreme emotions and our extreme traits personal traits that are probably portrayed here mm. yeah it's um it's kind of the first song that we've done just the two of us so that's mm probably why it it feels a bit different um and mostly because we've written it ourselves and we are not instrumentalists we are actually vocalists as primary but we just learned how to do stuff and write music and compose and how to do um, everything ourselves and that's why it probably is a bit different because the previous stuff we have was written by a guitarist mainly and then the other instruments kind of just fit into that but this this one was the other way around you could say almost um because we had the melody and the idea of the lyrics and what we wanted to do and then we changed up the music behind it so it fit better 
I got you for sure. So like, do you think like this process, uh, you know, that you just described, do you think it helped like strengthen or like flush out the song more? Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good question, actually. I'd like to say that it kind of brings the vocals and the lyrics more in, in the foreground and maybe the instruments a little bit um, behind because we kind of wanted to be the focus and that's why we don't have all these special uh, instruments, solo stuff going on. We have a bit, of course, because we like that. It's like it's our preference, but it's not because we want uh, some kind of instrument taking the focus from us, if that makes sense. It's, it, it has to be about the feeling and the song and, and, and not about the individual instrument. Yeah, we, we definitely took a, a composing view on this song. Like we wanted to fit everything into its box and make everything feel like a whole piece of art instead of uh, a couple of riffs and a couple of ideas and then we magically fitted that together or something. We wanted to to write this song with the purpose of it being a whole piece from the start, right? Mm. Well, I think um, I, I definitely like, uh, you know, you guys approach with it because it definitely, I think, it, you know, again, from like listening to previous material and then like this material, I think, uh, as I said, it's got a little bit of a different style to it, a little different sound to it. But also I think um, overall, I think it's, um, I think personally just, Based on previous, it's a very strong song that I very much enjoy. Oh, thank, thank you very much. But I'm also curious. So, like the the title, the Odyssey, was this already like the working title, or like how did the title for the song come about? The title was actually the last thing <laughs> for us. We have like working titles we we use for every song, um, but the lyrics were very early on pretty much set um, because we had this idea about we wanted it to be set in in ancient Greece and with these these characters kind of portraying our personalities and, and our feelings um, and it just made sense to call it the Odyssey because it is about the journey that we have been on in a bet like as a band but also um the relationship we have developed over the years and the the journey in starting to make music as a vocalist and then turning into some kind of multi uh, instrumentalist programmer slash i don't know um and it, it's just just been a long long journey with a lot of stuff happening so that it kind of makes sense to like to to just put a like a period mark here and just say okay this is it this is how we got here and now we can look forward kind of well like uh, i i really like the title because obviously it matches you know the kind of the visuals and the style of the song as well and uh, i very much enjoy that but also i did want to talk about the you know talk about the the visuals i saw the the video for the odyssey so like i really like I, you know, that whole, just kind of the whole video just, you know, matched everything very well. So like, I'm curious for you guys, um, you know, obviously you talked about earlier about like research, um, you know, into like, you know, um, the history and all of that. So like, um, how much like research, like, cause obviously like it turned out really well. So like how much were you guys like researching, uh, for the video and the, uh, the lyrics and the song? Like we, we do tend to do a lot of research on every song we make. Um, we like to to be some geeks sometimes also with the lyric part, like finding some some stuff that or words that aren't used that often so so it kind of distances us from from yeah other songs that's probably something we we uh, we do a lot like go total geek mode in, in some of it and uh, we i i think for, for me at least the odyssey and some of that the greek mythology stories i've had a history teacher that were very fond of that and norse uh, mythology so i've heard a lot of uh, stuff about it and when Cyrene came up with the idea i was like yes fuck yes let's do it it's it's great um and uh, we, we wanted to do it in this cartoony way or this animation thing because we haven't done that before so it was also a project for us to to grow a little bit and, and and be better like to do something else and try to learn stuff um we all we we have always wanted to do 
that when when creating new material or getting an idea for a video we've always wanted to be creative and do something that we don't know how to do before we get to do it right that's very fun yeah for us this is this is like a wholesome work somehow it's it's like a piece of art somehow and if the things like the video and the lyrics and the the story doesn't match up it it, it kind of exits us and then we just won't release it until it's like perfect and finished and and we're completely happy with how it turns out and the video is also made by us um and we kind of selected all of the different um clips and, and you know we're, we're really picky so so we're re really happy that others also see that we have some kind of red thread and it matches everything nice so yeah well, as I said, I very much enjoyed the video. I liked the, all the, you guys paid a lot of attention to detail, uh, you know, throughout that animation of the video. Um, I think, and again, it tied in so well. So I, I will leave a link for the video in the description of this podcast. I encourage everyone watching, listening to check it out. So uh, curious for like, you guys. So um, obviously with like the writing recording side, the, the music side, um, you talked about like being satisfied with the music. I know that this is going to be a challenging question, but like, how do you know, like when like a music video or like a song, like how do you know when it's complete? Um, from the video standpoint, I know when Sarine is not having any trouble with my work anymore, then it's getting there. So, uh, yeah. so I, I, I'm, uh, well, when I'm doing videos, I'm, I'm doing a lot of drafts and there's always some kind of details that, uh, that has to be fixed, and that and that is also some some of the stuff that the song is about. Like, I I I have this figure in tears that has a ground level of work and does some good honest work, and then there's the details that I tend to miss sometimes. That Sirene is very good at picking up. So I'm like the hard worker that does all the ground stuff, and and Sirene is is the one who makes them like look better and makes this the work sparkle uh, yeah so I'm the be, nag. yeah exactly she's the one that, that this has to be fixed this has to be fixed so yeah <laughs> from, from that standpoint it's 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 very uh, straightforward it's the same thing every time <laughs> yeah i kind of I, I i get up in my head and i have this idea about something and if it's not really what um envisioning i feel like okay we have to do something else and sometimes that's that makes me like scrap a whole song and just start over again with only the lyrics for instance because i kind of need when the feeling the feeling has to be right and then i know it's done does it make sense <laughs> yes it does yeah no i i completely understand that because i have a similar kind of philosophy with like my either like podcasting or like my you know other things of my ass of my life um if i'm not happy with something i don't want anyone to see it <laughs> like i'm like i like this is not the true form of what i wanted it to be so like i completely understand with that because i kind of approach it uh similarly as well and the sometimes there's no rational way yeah it, it takes a long time maybe for us to do a song because if i scrap it like all the time it's like oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes there's no no rational way for us to see it's to see if it works or not sometimes it's just a feeling and if the feeling isn't there then it just doesn't work and then we will figure something out even try to tweak a little bit or yeah grab it so, yeah if if we're if if i'm like not sure it's not that no so yeah no, I like that. Like you have to be like confident in your like in your work. Uh, you know, before like at least for me, I know I have to be like confident. Like this is the best that I did on this before I let you know release it. You know, like these podcasts or like my schoolwork or anything like that. And maybe I'm a perfectionist too much, and like I kind of you know work like I work overwork myself trying to get things right. And maybe I don't know. Maybe that's not the best, but at least it works for me. Also, <laughs> you learn something. Even though you don't release it or you scrap it, you'd learn something. So next time it'll be easier to get what you want. I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. Uh, but also, like, I'm curious for you guys. So, like, I know for me at least, like, when I, I I'm in school right now, so like, I like have to write papers every week. Like, 
and I like lately I've been experiencing a lot of like writer's block. Like for you guys, when you're like working on a song, do you experience like writer's block or anything like that? No, <laughs> no, because I don't know. I have so much stuff inside my head that it, it it's hard to get it out. And when something just feels right, it, I can just keep on going. So. No, and actually, really. for this for this song, we we had a lot of lyrical material, and then one day after, like we 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 have been like somehow satisfied with it a long time. Cyrene was like, "Okay, we need to do this over. Like th this doesn't work anymore." And then then we sat. It was it only took like one day or something where we came up with a lot of other lyrical content, and we wanted to change the feel because we wanted to, me to get more verse time. So I did like, I don't know, six, seven um, verses, a couple verses. So that would be like 14 different bits. And somehow some of them worked, I guess, um, and made, made sense to, to, to tell the story like we wanted to, to tell it in the first place. We just had to go another route. So that was that was quite funny because we, we suddenly just uh, experienced explored a problem and fixed it right away right and that's because we have all of these ideas and we we like to even though english is our second language um then uh, like i'm an english teacher so i love to to play with words and uh and Sarine has the same passion of playing with words so we 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 really like to write uh, lyric stuff if you can say yeah. that so even though well, it's a problem it's very funny it's a it's a nice problem because we like to do it. It's a puzzle somehow. Yeah. No, it, it, I'm glad you guys. Um, you know, it, it is a good problem to have where you have a lot to say or a lot of lyrical content. Because I think for me at least, it is the worst when you have nothing to say. That is yeah. to me, that's like the worst imagine. feeling to have. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, like. Yeah, it, it it sucks sometimes, but uh, it it has to be like you just gotta find something. For for us, it's in in this work. Like I can I can tell you when I was studying to become a teacher, I also experienced the the writing blocks because sometimes it's very cool. Sometimes some it, it's like not saying it's boring, but it's hard to understand and comprehend sometimes. And then yeah, but then you can get those blocks and those feelings. So it's maybe. Normal, I guess. The reason that I don't have a block is because I have stuff I'd like to get off my chest. If you're writing something that is for other people, I think it could also have a block because it's I have to feel it somehow to get it down on paper or out. I don't for sure. Yeah, it it is definitely when it's not your original ideas and you're just like at least for me I have to write you know according to certain guidelines or mm -hmm. you know things like that and. It is when you have those kind of constraints. It's definitely a lot harder, right? When you're, you know, obviously, you know, speaking, you know, um, kind of uh, speaking your side and like, you know, creating your story and your music. It's it's a lot easier to, you know, a lot less restrictions. Exactly. <laughs> but I, I'm curious. You guys are talking about changes uh, that you guys made to the Odyssey, like lyrically. But I'm curious, like overall, what was like the biggest change from when you guys started working on the song to now the finished product? Probably we were three, three slash uh, three and a half, I guess, working on it firstly, um, and uh, and yeah, and then then we scrapped a lot of stuff, and and uh, our guitarist left us, and then then we we just wanted to start over. We we liked the idea and had a lot of stuff with the song that we wanted to say, but we were also like we have to do it over and do it our way now because we we have been working with not let's not say not our material but material made with other people that now isn't there anymore so we could we, we wanted to try to do something ourselves this time so so that, that was probably what changed that was us reaching a point where we both wanted to but also had to do something on our own and uh, the process of us just successfully doing so and showing ourselves that we could do it um as good as we thought and wanted to do like um and don't compromise on on the quality and, and our feeling of of success right or satisfaction yeah that's the thing when you're only two you only have to answer to two people so it's 
the the biggest difference is actually that it's completely different. <laughs> I think I think we um, we only kept one uh, riff. The rest of it is new. So. Right on. It, it's just cool to hear the kind of just the um, where you guys started with it to now like where it is now with everything. And obviously, you guys, you know, you guys went for a whole you know uh, kind of transformation with the band and you know with working with two people instead of others as well. So, but I think it turned out, as I said earlier, really well. It's very high quality, and also that you guys are also happy with it too. Yeah, yeah. we 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 like the the very important part is that we're happy so like that that that, that means that when when we, we all obviously like when when people likes our song but it doesn't affect us too much if people don't like it too much but because we also know that like our favorite bands there's songs that we don't like from our favorite bands even though we probably would say that we would like everyone uh every one single song right but it's how music is it's not for everyone and it's okay like it's 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 not what it's what it is it's fine yeah that's why it's important to to be confident with what you put out and happy with it because if if you're doing it for other people only it it's a really hard blow to take if people don't like it and it's it's not good for your mental health um, to live like that so it's this way we're happy <laughs> all the time <laughs> oh for sure no definitely for sure i definitely agree with that uh because if if you're not happy with what you're doing then like it kind of doesn't matter if people like it or don't like because if you're not happy then there's very at little some point, yeah yeah at some point it will break you so exactly but now uh as we're starting to wrap up this interview i do just got a few things to uh discuss before we head out so for you guys, obviously, we're, we're closing out 2024 here pretty soon. So like, what is like the rest of this year and early 2025 looking like for Cryosphere? Yeah, we're working on a new song as well. Like, we, we want to create stuff at the moment. We we have a goal of doing live shows again because we really love to connect with the audience. And I miss it. Like, it's, it's, it's a long time since we've been on the road. Um, but right now we really want to create and 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 just uh, thrive in that creative space that we're in right now so we're working and are actually pretty soon done with like the 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 heart let's say the the skeleton of the song and and the idea and now we just have to to make it perfect so we're we're pretty we're pretty soon done with it i guess we um, think we think for now <laughs> maybe it, maybe now, yeah, tomorrow it's it's, it's 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 totally reworked we, we don't know but um but yeah we want to create more and um and uh, be in that creative space and then see how, how where it takes us Well, right now, well, I look forward to seeing, uh, obviously, some more new music from you guys and seeing, uh, I hope you guys have a great 2025 with everything. Sounds like you got some great plans in the work, so I hope everything goes uh, smoothly for you guys. Thank you so Thank much. You. So Now, before we close this out, so for everyone watching and listening, where are the best places to find Cryosphere online? That would be, we, we are on, like, every social media. We are on TikTok, we're on Instagram, Facebook, and, uh, of course, YouTube with all our videos. That, that's where all of the videos are. Um, but also on streaming platforms, we are on every every single one of them. Spotify, uh, Apple Music, whatever. All of them. Also Bandcamp. Yeah, Bandcamp is also uh, a place to be. Yeah. Well, very good. Well, I'll leave some links for Cryosphere in the description of the podcast along with the video for the Odyssey. Please check out and support them. But thank you guys so much uh, for stopping by Super Cool Radio. I had a great time chatting with you guys. Thank you for having us again. Yeah, thank you for having, and having us. It was, it was nice. Nice talking to you. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. For Cryosphere, I'm your host, Matthew Thomas. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this episode of Super Cool Radio. And remember, stay frosty. <laughs> yeah.